Hello YouTube. Uh, just a little quick video. I just made another one earlier, but I might fall back into that habit of making several videos at once. Just because if it tickles my fancy, my fancy is tickled. Um, what this is about is uh, find the resources available to you and use them. Now, uh, anyone who actually knows me will say I'm lying when I say I'm a personable person. And uh, a lot of people like me. Not entirely true, but you know, I'm cute enough. Uh, I deal with a few companies and uh, I try to deal local as best I can. Uh, but you know, if uh, it's a lot cheaper in another area, I will have to go there. Uh, as much as I would like to deal locally, I still have to look under the bottom line. But with dealing with a company, that I do deal with locally, uh, good rapport with him. We deal with him with my landscaping company quite often, but he is a little bit more expensive, but he is very flexible for me, helps me out with a lot. So I try to give him as much business as I can, but it's a lumber yard close to me. And uh, yes, these are the chunks of wood that come in lifts, under lifts of uh, drywall, lifts of lumber. See how they got that strap press in there when they do the metal bands um, but he gave me an entire skid it was probably the skid was probably almost six feet high I we had to wrap it up and they loaded up on my truck with a forklift we used their saran wrap to wrap up the top that was sticking out of the top of my truck gave me a hand load and everything and then I brought that load home and I cut it up it is I'm going to say about 80% crap wood, but there is some hardwood in here, but for a guy who used to have access to about 1,500 acres of farms with ditches and trees constantly falling down into the fields and have access to cutting up those trees, and not only just access, but I, was, I used to get paid to go out with my truck and trailer and with his chainsaw and his gas block up wood and throw it into my truck and trailer to bring home for, I, for me to use as firewood. Now I don't have that access. So when you run into one problem, you need to look for solutions and uh, hey, not a solution. Yeah, not the greatest wood. It doesn't burn, it burns very fast because a lot of it is soft and it's processed lumber, but it was free and free is a wonderful price so uh, we are going to be pulling out some more wood in the winter there's a couple bushes that i'm allowed to pull tops out of and pull dead wood out of and all sorts of stuff i like taking standing dead just because i'm lazy and i don't i don't really want to sit on it if i don't have to and uh, our woodshed is severely depleted right now so any wood that I can just torch is great wood. So guys, just look around to what's available to you. You might be surprised. And on another note, just uh, try to build them local relationships. Uh, there's a restaurant I deal with that that's how I get, uh, there's one, which unfortunately is being used for just crummy stuff right now, but these are food grade buckets. Butter comes in those. That's what I actually store a ton of stuff in in my freezer. I don't know if I ever did a video on what's how my freezer's set up. But when I go to the abattoir, I carry a whole bunch of those food grade buckets and we just load it straight into those buckets at the abattoir, put them in the back of the truck and we bring them home and just stack them in the cube freezer and all the label all the lids are labeled with Sharpie. This is full of pork chops, this is full of ground pork, this is full of neck bones, this is full of ham steaks. And we do that, and they're all stacked in, and it makes life so much simpler. So just another note to build up your local relationships, because like the restaurant, they throw those out. They get so many, and they go, I don't know what to do, and they throw them out. Granted, some will charge a dollar. Like uh, I think Dairy Queen I bought buckets from before, and they were like a buck for these. It's a different style bucket. They're really good buckets, but different style. But I really like these square ones that I can stack, because I can, in my one freezer I can stack two high with still room on top 
and I think it's eight across, two wide, and I still have room in between. So I can fit a fair amount in those buckets, and it just makes so much better for organization. But I'll have to make a video on uh, when the freezer gets full. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bye.